What's up guys? Today we'll be looking at uh, what you should be investing in, whether you should be investing in crypto or whether you should be investing in stocks. So we are going to be looking at uh, some of the differences between the stock market and the crypto market. And we're also going to be looking at uh, what you should be investing in, whether you should be investing in crypto and whether you should be investing in stocks and the advantages and disadvantages of both those. And we'll also be looking at uh, what actually gives you a better ROI on your money. That's the return on your investment, crypto or stocks. And also just looking at some of the examples of the blue chips uh, that you can uh, buy, that is uh, the stocks and also some blue chip cryptos that you can also look to invest in for 2023. So please stay tuned till the end of this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Check out the links in the description. Let's get into what it is that you should be investing in this 2023 crypto or stocks, what is really going to be giving you that good return on your money. So the key differences between the stock market and the crypto market, even though they're both markets that allow you to buy and sell uh, assets essentially is that, uh, you know, sometimes the assets that are traded on a stock market, it is primarily stocks, which represent uh, ownership in a company, in a cryptocurrency market. On the other hand, you can trade cryptocurrencies, which are digital or virtual currencies that uh, are used for um, cryptographic uh, uh, different types of uh, use cases. So another thing could be also just a difference in uh, the market structures of both uh, the uh, crypto and the stock market. So a stock market is uh, typically organized and regulated by central authorities, such as uh, maybe a stock exchange and also the crypto market. On the other hand, it can have uh, several aspects, including some decentralization aspects or aspects that are not regulated by uh, single authorities or a central authoritarian type of body. So as far as the regulations as well, there's also a uh, disparity there because uh, the cryptocurrency market is largely unregulated at the um, at the, at the at the moment compared to what you would find stock markets uh, all around the world. Another thing would be the volatility. Of course, the crypto market is seen as a highly volatile market compared to stocks, even though, of course, with the stock markets themselves, they can also be quite uh, volatile. So as far as what you should actually be looking to invest in, well, deciding to invest in cryptocurrencies or stocks or both, it really depends on your goals and also the risk tolerance that you have. Of course, when you consider these different options, you need to be able to be in a position to do your own research, to make your own investment decisions. But of course, there are a number of things that you should consider, such as uh, volatility. So in the cryptocurrency space, like I've just mentioned, it's quite a volatile market, meaning that uh, values can fluctuate uh, significantly over uh, periods of time. This can be a high risk uh, bet, but of course, if you're somebody who's uh, a good trader and you're able to uh, also maximize on uh, these opportunities, then you can also make quite a significant amount of money. So another aspect is the regulations uh, that I just uh, mentioned earlier as well, saying that uh, depending on the jurisdiction that you're in, you may not be able to trade different types of assets. So it's always um, you know, just uh, up to you to make sure you are uh, doing the right thing uh, according to what is required in the jurisdiction that you reside in. Again, when it comes to diversification, that's also another thing that you would also want to keep in mind when you're deciding which uh, asset to invest in, whether it be crypto or stocks, because ultimately, you know, I think it is also just a good thing to stay diversified. So there are key differences in investing in crypto is, uh, you know, compared to just investing in uh, more traditional asset classes or traditional funds. So like I said, um, if you do decide to invest in cryptocurrencies, it's always good to actually invest in uh, the amounts that you're prepared to actually lose because like I said, the high risks, they are just a lot in contrast. Traditional investments such as uh, stocks, bonds, and mutual funds tend to be less volatile. They may be able to offer you more stability over the long term and also these types of uh, 
investments do still carry a degree of a risk. So it's something that you should always keep top of mind. So the question of whether or, uh, cryptocurrencies or stocks actually provide you a better ROI, well, it's a little bit difficult, of course, to actually just make generalizations when it comes to uh, how much ROI you can get from uh, either. But like I said, in the more volatile asset classes like crypto, then they can also lie opportunities for you to exploit those big price swings, etc. But of course, you also have to understand that, you know, past performance does not indicate a future results and cryptocurrencies and stocks both do carry these risks. So as far as some of the blue chips that people would like to invest in or typically invest in when it comes to stocks, for example, Apple is a pretty a uh, strong uh, company that a lot of people like to invest in whether this is something that you think would be a good investment for you 23 2023 uh, at the price levels that apple is at and considering kind of the potential for future growth uh, and expansion in different markets and also what's going on as far as uh, their relationships in key areas that have really been essential to driving their growth like china these are things that you need to really factor but of course apple is a technology known for its uh, products iphone ipad and mac and uh, these are some of the blue chips as far as uh, stocks are concerned, Microsoft, again, another company that, you know, he did a love it. You know, Bill Gates has been a, a dominant player in the market. It's said that Microsoft is really starting to become the world's strongest company at the moment. Of course, the software products are used across Windows and Office and uh, billions of users are using them. So again, that's probably not a stock that's gonna go away anytime soon. Amazon, of course, has uh, become the big retail giant and technology company out there in an online marketplace that provides more than just that. Again, you know, you've got now cloud computing services that are pretty strong coming out of AWS and things of that nature. Another blue chip stock right there for you. Berkshire Hathaway, of course, one of the uh, giants in the world has always been Warren Buffett and his uh, conglomerate of uh, businesses that are, are diversified across insurance, retail and finance, etc. You've got uh, the world leaders as far as uh, stocks that are in the healthcare pharmaceutical space. As you've seen with the pandemic, a lot of people exploiting those opportunities gain some of these direct uh, uh, sort of beneficiaries have been uh, pharmaceutical companies so Johnson and Johnson is one of those big giants out there specializing in pharmaceuticals and medical devices so those are the blue chip stocks that you might want to go and research 2023 as far as uh, blue chip cryptocurrencies out there of course Bitcoin still out there the most decentralized been out in the market the longest and has the largest capitalization and adoption and recognition among consumers and businesses. I don't think anything is going to change as far as that. Ethereum, again, it's transitioned to a proof of stake network. Some are uh, really skeptical about this development. I've done several videos uh, highlighting some of my thoughts around that but again i don't think this is going to go away anytime soon so this is another so-called blue chip even though in crypto you can never really say there is such a thing as a blue chip cryptocurrency but of course these are some of the most well established ethereum is another one another example could be for example a speculative one be being a binance coin for example this is the native cryptocurrency of the binance platform which is the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world binance coin is supposed to be used to pay for platform fees and to participate in uh, governance and uh, uh, processes that in are involved within running that ecosystem so ultimately at the end of the day deciding whether to invest in cryptocurrencies or normal traditional investments such as stocks or just a combination of both comes down to your financial goals and your own risk tolerance it's important to carefully consider those options and do seek the advice of your financial advisor before you make investment decisions if that's something that you would want to do personally i'm not a financial advisor i do my own research i take my own risks but i'm always putting money on the line that i'm prepared to lose if things go wrong because at the end of the day without taking risks there are no rewards so this goes out to all of you who are trying to make money this 2023 in the stock market or the cryptocurrency markets 
give us a like give us a subscribe let us know what other content you'd like us to share so we can educate each other and grow together so we can get these bags go to decentralized.news the best cryptocurrency exchange reviews different platform reviews nft marketplaces and a whole lot more you've got tools and resources to help you navigate your way in this whole market if you're interested in crypto also if you're interested in learning more check out my books links in the description blockchain applied tokenized trillions like share subscribe man turn on the notification bell i'll see you guys in the next video peace